So this question is a graph question. Um, what we have provided here really is just, you know, the graph itself. We have some ordered pairs at these points here. So always pay attention to where your ordered pairs are located. The graph is not fully um, it's fleshed out. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to do this, but I like to just make sure I understand exactly where so this is negative three and this is negative five. I like to understand exactly where my ordered pairs are because those tend to be important on this test. Negative two, okay, so, oh, and five. Okay, so the question says the complete graph of the function f is shown in the xy plane above. For what value of x is the value of f of x at its minimum? So a couple of things to understand here. So we're looking for the value of x that's at a, that brings f of x to its minimum. f of x, is the same as y. What I like to do sometimes is just cross out f of x, um, especially when it's graph related, cross out f of x, replace it with y, and then when I read it, for what value of x is the value of y at its minimum? So my y axis is obviously the vertical axis. So the point that's at a minimum for y is this point right here, which I'll box in green. So that's at negative two for the y value. But the question is asking what the x value is at that point. And as you can see, because I took a little bit of time to label this early on, I know that that point is negative three, and that's my answer. So again, this is important, um, especially if f of x causes any confusion for you. Um, and second of all, I'm just a huge fan of labeling the graph as much as I possibly can before even getting started. You could do it after the fact, but I'd love to do it first, just so my mind already gets, like, my mind can wrap itself around where things actually are.